So, Vitete, bienvenidos and welcome. Welcome to the beautiful city of Prague in the Czech Republic. And as you know, I'm Martha Della Torre, and this program is put together by the collaborative effort of the Home Office, Shay and Lisa, and much valued support from my fellow board members, the Advisory Board, the Future Leaders Network, and many of our other active members. We appreciate all your support. We have a great lineup of speakers and sessions. Your active participation is invited, and please feel free to provide ongoing feedback. We welcome your advice on how to continue making ICMA relevant and educational. So I always love reading about the history and culture of the places I visit. And before we get into a hardcore agenda of valued presentations, I want to share with you some fun facts about our host country. Did you know that Prague Castle, begun in the 9th century, is listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest ancient castle in the world? Somebody from Poland might challenge that it was controversial, but the World Guinness Book of Records says so. Did you know that the old Cladbury horse, the oldest unique Czech horse breed, is considered a living work of art and listed on UNESCO's World Heritage List? It's raised for royal courts. Did you know that the first sugar cubes were made in Dachik, 1841? I hope I pronounced that correctly. Did you know that the word robot is Czech? It was first mentioned in a drama by Czech playwright uh, Karl Kapetsch and it was actually uh, created by his uh, artist brother first. And yesterday there was a robot index created on the stock exchange, so very relevant. Did you know that astronaut Neil Armstrong played Czech composer Anton Dvorak's New World Symphony on the moon, on the first moon landing? Did anybody know that? <laughs> okay, and here's the most important one. Dr. Yaroslav Skala created the Sobering Up Station to enjoy after the pub as an introduction to his alcoholics treatment facility. Talk about connecting buyers with sellers. Has anyone gone after the alcoholics niche? And as I prepared for our conference, I also found interesting how connected we Americans are with Czech history. So now let's see if you can guess who these famous Czech Americans are. Here is a famous Czech American who said, if you put the product into the customer's hands, it will speak for itself if it's something of quality. She is the founder of a pioneer in cosmetic company. Her company spends 400 million in global advertising in 2008. Her father was bohemian. Do you know who this is? Yes, who guessed that? What? <laughs> Very good. And next. This famous Czech American arrived in New York from Bohemia in 1870. At the age of 19, he opened a jewelry store in New York when he was 23 years old. He now has a company that in 1941 spent a million dollars on advertising and in 2012 spent 20.2 million in advertising. Who is this famous watchmaker? No, nobody? Josef Bulova. Bulova watches, do you hear about those in Europe? In America, they're pretty big. And this astronaut was command module pilot of Apollo 8, man's first flight around the moon, and commander of Apollo 13. He once said, there are people who make things happen, there are people who watch things happen, and there are people who wonder what happened. To be successful, you need to be a person who makes things happen. Anyone know? Another hint, he said, Houston, we've had a problem here. <laughs> Who is this famous person whose mother was Czech? It is Jim Lovell. And this man co-founded with his brother a tax preparation company in the US claiming more than 22 million customers worldwide with offices in Canada, Australia, and the United Kingdom. His grandfather Adolf was born in Janovich nad Ulavu in Bohemia. He has a top business school named after him with global recognition. His company spent $228.7 million in advertising in 2012. This company advertises with El Clasificado. Who is this famous Czech American? What was his grandfather's name? Janovich Nad Ulavu. I practiced. This is Henry Block of H&R Block. And this famous person said, I would say I'm 90% collaborative in everything I do, and 10% of the time I just make the call. 
This famous Czech American is also a well-known angel investor in tech startups and was an early investor in Twitter and Spotify. Do you know who this is? It does look like Steve Jobs. He was the first tweeter to have one million followers beating out CNN, although there's controversy. Very good. Ashton Kutcher, he was born in Iowa. He is 62.4% of Bohemian Czech descent and makes $800,000 for each TV episode he does. A lot of wealthy Czech Americans. And one more, this man said, and nobody, read my chair letter and applied for the raffle. We'll have to have a new raffle. But luck is a dividend of sweat. The more you sweat, the luckier you get. Look after the customers, and the business will take care of itself. And this is a good, uh, my favorite. I didn't invent the hamburger. I just took it more seriously than anyone else. And I think I'm going to adopt that and say, I didn't invent the classified ad. I just took it more seriously than anyone else. Who was this famous uh, person of Czech origin? Yes, very good, Ray Kroc. Hope you enjoyed that. And now for some sad numbers that are getting better. Okay, according to the recent Nielsen Global AdView Pulse report on global advertising trends, in the first six months of 2013, over 160.7 billion was spent on advertising worldwide, which is up by 2.8% compared to 2012. And talking to a lot of you, I think, uh, based on the different continents, this is pretty uh, consistent. North America was up by 2.7%. It was better than expected, and that's similar to our first six months. It was about 2.7, about 2.8. Latin America was up by a whopping 13.1%. We need more members from Latin America. Africa and the Middle East was up by 3.9%. Uh, and I think our friends in South Africa actually did better than that. And Asia Pacific was up by 6.4%. And sadly, Europe was down 6%. But according to Nielsen, there are signs that the hardest hit parts of Europe are bottoming out. Now let's look at advertising changes by sectors for the years to date 2013. Industry and services increased ad budgets by 7.2%. Fast moving consumer goods increased ad budgets by 5.7%. And fast moving consumer goods in the US, we tend to say CPG, consumer uh, packaged goods. Durables increased by 5.2%. Healthcare advertising increased by 2.5%. Clothing, entertainment, and financial advertising budgets went down. Automotive ad spent went down by 3.1%. And um, this report by Nielsen is available to anyone. It's free, it's a shortened version, uh, but if you like when you get a copy of this, you can uh, get a link to it. And now I would like to wrap up by showing you a video of some of my pain points. Marketing, analytics, and data are painful. We get reports, 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 but what do they mean? Anomalies are still not detected timely. How can these analytics help us make money, save money, build the right product? I hear about the newest algorithm change, the newest top 10 tips on digital marketing, but how do I focus on the right data quickly and monetize the insights and analytic results now? That's why I come to ICMA. I hope to look for the answers here, and I do have a, a video that will uh, demonstrate what I feel. Hello, Steve. Thanks for coming. My name is John. Any questions before we start? Good. How does your company currently measure results in digital marketing? Well, we look at the bigger picture and try to see what kind of ripple effect the... Uh, the uh, we uh, uh, go for the key influencers who are... At the end of the day, we want to create a halo effect around our brand recognition. We try to fine-tune engagements to get... We're working on getting a real 360 degree view of the customer to cross-segment synergies. Likes. Closed loop marketing. Search. Classification of our brand. Ah. SEO. Click through rates. Just make it go viral.
kicked off the session with our SEO boot camp, and it was really great to have uh, Jillian come in at the end <coughs> and give us the top three KPI metrics that we should be following, the ones that show success, the ones that show uh, failure that we need to be on top of, and I hope that we are able to wrap that up at all our sessions today. So thank you, and I will finish with my cousins who are Czech American Ecuadorians. Thank you, and don't forget, not during uh, the sessions where we need the internet, but please participate on our social wall uh, when it's appropriate at uh, using hashtag ICMA prop. Thank you.